normal blood sugar levels in adults with diabetes. Diabetes is defined as a disease in which the body has an impaired ability to either produce or respond to the hormone insulin. People with type 1 diabetes have a pancreas that does not make insulin. People with type 2 diabetes have cells in the body that are resistant to insulin or have a pancreas that slows or stops producing adequate insulin levels or blood glucose. Both types of diabetes can result in abnormal glucose levels. Normal blood levels may range slightly depending on what blood tests are used, but the variances are small. In addition, the normal ranges for non-diabetics are not the same for people with diabetes, it is generally accepted that target blood sugar measurements for people with diabetes will be slightly higher than those without diabetes. Glucotrust is a new supplement manufactured in the USA, that contains a formula of all natural ingredients. These ingredients work together to promote healthy blood sugar levels, safe and effective weight loss, and better sleep. To find out more about this supplement, you may follow the link in the description below. A person with normal blood sugar levels has a normal glucose range of 72 to 99 mg per deciliter while fasting and up to 140 mg per deciliter about 2 hours after eating. People with diabetes who have well-controlled glucose levels with medications have a different target glucose range. These people may have a fasting range of about 100 mg per deciliter or less and 180 mg per deciliter about 2 hours after eating. If a person's diabetes is not well-controlled, the person may have much higher glucose ranges for example, 200 to 400 mg per deciliter. However, some people with diabetes have blood sugar levels that are much higher. The normal ranges for blood sugar levels in adults who do not have diabetes while fasting are 72 to 99 mg per deciliter. These ranges may increase to 80 to 130 mg per deciliter for those being treated for diabetes. According to the American Diabetes Association, people with diabetes should have blood sugar levels of 80 to 130 mg per deciliter before eating a meal or fasting, and less than 180 mg per deciliter about 1 to 2 hours after eating a meal. High blood sugar ranges for people who don't have diabetes begin at 140 mg per deciliter, while those being treated for diabetes have a high range beginning at 180 mg per deciliter. Yes, high blood sugar levels can be dangerous. Although high blood sugar levels commonly produce symptoms of excessive urination, excessive thirst and hunger, and weight loss. Over time these high blood sugar levels can cause lower extremity paresthesias or loss of feeling, blurry vision, a higher risk for infections, kidney and eye damage, a higher risk of heart attack, and a higher risk of stroke. Very high blood sugar levels for example, 1000 or more milligrams per deciliter can cause diabetic ketoacidosis, which can lead to loss of consciousness and is life-threatening. The treatment for excessively high blood sugar involves four fluids and insulin. Yes, low blood sugar symptoms can cause problems such as hunger, nervousness, perspiration, dizziness or even confusion. If untreated, low blood sugar result in unconsciousness, seizures, coma, or death. Low blood sugar levels begin at 70 mg per deciliter or less. People with diabetes who take too much medication and insulin or take their usual amount, but then eat less or exercise more than usual can develop hypoglycemia. Although much rarer, hypoglycemia may develop in some people without diabetes when they take someone else's medication, have excessive alcohol consumption, or have hepatitis or a rare tumor of the pancreas or insulinoma. The treatment for hypoglycemia is oral glucose intake 15.0 grams of sugar. For example, one tablespoon of sugar, honey, corn syrup, or four fluids containing glucose. Rechecking your blood sugar levels in about 15 minutes after the treatment is advised. Diet modification is a major step in your management of diabetes. Don't eat foods high in carbohydrates and sugar such as buttered potatoes, fatty foods, candy, and sugary desserts like cake with frosting. Use a blood sugar logbook or app that records the date, time, and values to help you manage your type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes, and use a blood glucose home test kit to get glucose test results. Additionally, log any change in symptoms over time. The logbook will enable you and your doctor to modify treatments for example, 
the amount of insulin to take and actions to obtain the best management of your diabetes.